With heading into fall, we're going to be enjoying cinnamon, spice, and everything nice. Today, we're going to be making a carrot cake cookie recipe, gluten and dairy free. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, where I share simple things in my island life on the east coast of Canada. Come along with me. This time of year, we like to enjoy things like carrot cake. So I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you that's a little bit simpler in carrot cake cookies with cream cheese frosting. We're going to start off by taking a couple of small to medium carrots and grating them. And as you can see here, then I take some paper towel and squeeze out the moisture in the carrots. The carrots don't need to be completely dry, but it is helpful if you squeeze out some of the moisture so that your batter isn't too moist or damp. I'm then placing them in the measuring cup. You're going to be needing three quarters of a cup of grated carrots for this recipe. This is where you take a medium mixing bowl and add in one and a quarter cups of a gluten-free one-to-one -one flour. Here I am using Bob's Red Mill. You're also going to be adding a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. This is where you'd also add your nice fall spices and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger, an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves and allspice. Here I have created my own pumpkin spice blend, so I'm going to be adding two teaspoons of that. Once you've added all these ingredients in, you're going to be taking a whisk and combining well. Now, if you are wanting to make these cookies and you happen to need any of the ingredients like the Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one flour or baking soda or these nice fall spices, I will be sure to link my Amazon storefront in the description box down below. If you happen to purchase from there, I may earn a small commission, which really helps support my channel and helps me to bring more videos to all of you. If you enjoy the recipes that I create on this channel or any of my content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload new videos. So we can also bring more people into our gluten and dairy-free baking community. Once we've combined our dry ingredients, we're gonna set the mixing bowl aside and go ahead and put together our wet ingredients. We're going to start by adding in a half a cup or one stick of vegan basil or butter. We're then going to be adding a quarter of a cup of this coconut sugar and a quarter of a cup of cane sugar. We're then going to get our hand mixer and we're gonna beat for approximately two minutes until well combined and nice and fluffy and creamy. I will also make sure to include this recipe in the description box down below. If it's not there right away when I upload this video, don't worry, I will add it, as well as the link to the Amazon storefront and all the ingredients that you may want to buy to make this recipe yourself at home. Once we have creamed our butter and sugar, we're then going to be adding in one large egg and a teaspoon of vanilla and combine well. Once we've mixed in our egg and vanilla, we're then going to be combining our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. You pour in your dry ingredients, we're going to be taking a spoon and combining it well into our wet ingredients.
Once this has been combined well, we're now going to blend in our three quarters of a cup of grated carrot as well as a half a cup of Thompson's raisins. Once this has all been mixed well, we're then going to be taking our cookie dough and placing it in the fridge to chill for approximately 30 minutes. While the dough is in the fridge chilling, now would be a good time to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. While your cookie dough is chilling and your oven is preheating, we're going to make some cream cheese frosting. You're going to take about a quarter of a cup of a softened vegan butter or margarine, and we're also going to be using one full eight ounce container of a coconut or dairy-free cream cheese. We're also going to be adding some vanilla, as well as two cups of powdered sugar. We're going to blend all this really well, and this is what we'll be using to top our carrot cake cookies. Now once we've finished making our cream cheese frosting, we're going to set that aside and we're going to take our chilled cookie dough out of the fridge. You're going to get a cookie sheet and line it with some parchment paper. I've also got a cookie scoop and I'm going to be taking approximately two tablespoons of cookie dough, placing on the parchment lined cookie sheet about two inches apart. I'm going to be slightly pressing them down and baking at a preheated 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. And voila, there we have it delicious carrot cake cookies. A simpler version and an easy way to enjoy a carrot cake without all the work. Now we're going to be taking our cream cheese frosting, drizzle it on top, and I'm also going to be topping some of these with some shredded coconut. And these turned out fabulous. I think that you're going to really enjoy these. It's a wonderful, easy recipe to enjoy for fall. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be sure to leave the recipe in the description box down below. Like I said, if it's not there right away, it will be added at some point as soon as possible. Be sure to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe and all the youtube -y things. I'll also be sure to link some videos at the end of this so that you can binge watch them until my next upload. And I want to thank everyone for joining me today. We'll see you again soon, everyone. Bye-bye.